Hello YouTube and welcome back everyone to the Roblox Sheep, bringing you another epic Roblox update this time like always. In today's video, we'll be going over the dispute of the century in the world of gaming, that is whether Roblox or Minecraft has more to offer and why many people will actually choose Minecraft. Let's see what we can dig up, but before we start, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel too, because this one is going to be wild, so without any more interruptions, let's just go ahead and jump straight into it. Minecraft and Roblox are incredibly popular sandbox style games that both let you design games, meet other players, and of course, play for hours. They also each have supportive online communities that are always available for help. But Minecraft and Roblox are actually quite different once you get into the details. Starting off with pricing, off the bat Minecraft has a much higher initial cost of around $25, while Roblox uses the freemium model that a lot of mobile games have done for years to provide themselves with what they call free. Roblox lets you play games and design a small number of them for free, but you need to subscribe to do the really fun stuff, such as customize your avatar, buy and trade weapons, and create additional games. You can buy Roblox's in-game currency, Robux, and it's worth signing up for the entry-level membership for $6 a month, which eliminates ads, lets you manage more games, and buy daily Robux. For ease of use, both are pretty challenging, but that's part of each game's unique fun. Minecraft offers basically no instructions, but provides three levels of difficulty. You learn to play through exploration, experimentation, watching YouTube videos, and reading other fan-created content. There's a lot of it online. Roblox offers two modes, playing and creating. Playing other people's games offers a lot of variety, but it can be frustrating since the games are user designed. For kids who are interested in creating their own games, Roblox offers a lot of instructions, a wiki, and a helpful player community as well. The social aspects of both of these games are a tough one as both offer multiplayer gaming, yet Minecraft lends itself more to solo play, while Roblox is social from the minute you sign on, and friending and chatting are a huge part of the system as well. Both Minecraft and Roblox involve lots of user-generated content with players of all ages, including teens and adults, contributing and competing. Managing some of the inappropriate content that can be found in user-generated content can be done through each game's built-in controls. Roblox lets you turn off chatting, block people, and report bad behavior, while Minecraft doesn't restrict what you say but lets you ignore other players. This brings us to the safety side of both of these games in which they have had incidences of inappropriate predatory behavior in multiplayer and chat mode. In response, Roblox has beefed up its child safety initiative to include more human moderators, parental controls, and other features to rat out offenders. Since Minecraft can be played solo or only specific with friends, contact with strangers can be severely restricted. And finally, for the creativity side of each of the games, which is a pretty huge portion, both check all the right boxes for peak creativity for whatever someone might want to do in the game. Both games can teach the rudiments of computer coding, in which Minecraft uses Java and Roblox uses the Lua programming language, though Minecraft has the edge when it comes to being educational friendly. They also promote math skills, thinking and reasoning, problem solving, and collaboration. With the learning side comes the standard fun content as well with minigames being introduced in Minecraft Realms and user created content piling up in Roblox. The amount of productivity and entertainment found in both of them is a sight to behold. Overall, having to pay for Minecraft to play seems like a hefty price, but the amount that can be done with the game is so admirable that it's understandable to see why many players believe that Minecraft truly is better than Roblox. But let us know which game you prefer down in the comments below. Thank you all so much for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more of the best Roblox content on YouTube. You can also tap the notification bell icon to not miss out on any of our future videos we upload either. This is the Roblox Sheep, signing off, and we will catch you all in the next one.